was in tune when I bought it. <laughs> you did give it a good battering though, didn't you? I did. And that's, that's all it deserved. Yes. Well, hello there. Hello. Well, and welcome to All About The Bass. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And today, a uh, very exciting thing. Look at this beautiful thing. Yes. It's uh, Dark Glass. The Dark Glass, Alpha Omega. Um, 900. 900. 900. Yes. 900. 900 standing for watts. Uh, yeah, yeah. 900 absolutely. watts. Now, ironically, today, uh, we're just DIing it. So you can hear what it sounds like, <laughs> DI'd. So you're um, hearing zero of those 900. Yes. In here. So, wow. so today, zero watts. But if you want watts, there's 900 in there, which is uh, quite impressive. Um, That's a lot. It is, but today we've just got it DI'd and we're listening to it in the room through our studio monitors. Uh, so it's one of the newer heads. Where well, is the newest head out for the for the, the dark glass uh, range? You've had the the standard microtubes uh, nine hundred was their first first head, and they brought out a five hundred watt version. I think they might have a seven hundred watt version as well. But this is the next kind of stage on from a different kind of tonality from that, um, with a bit more involvement from this John Stockman, is it mostly from um, Carnival? Okay, yeah, this um, whole sort of Alpha Omega engine. The engine, yeah, yeah. So came out with his uh, this pedal first. Um, I don't know how much of involvement he's had with the actual head unit, but I know that the pedal we spent loads of time with with the dark glass guys getting it getting it you know perfect for his tone. So okay. Um, so yeah, this is John kind Stockman of... from Carnival. Oh yes, yes. There we go. Well, <laughs> yes. this is this is we're going to have to crack on with this because this amp has got so many features. Yes. Um, it's going to take forever to, to go through them all. Okay, okay. Because uh, we're going to have to look at the back at some point because there's so much going on around here. Yeah. Um, but I guess if we start. On the front, uh, should we just go through these bits and pieces? Let's do it, yeah. Well, so, you got well should we? Uh, should I get us some sort of clean tone? To, um, just to, yeah. a few of these are like kind of EQ boosts and bits and pieces, aren't they? As well. So I think if cool, okay, nice clean clean. The first thing then, really, to mention is that, that this head um, can hold up to three different cabinet simulations at once. Um, so you're going to have it, no cabinet simulation at all, which sounds like this. And then you've got cab one. Cab two. Cab three. Now, they're just the ones that it comes without the box. Uh, you can plug this into your computer and download the dark glass software and then you can put in anything you like all different configurations you know 1 by 10 8 by 10 yeah uh, 1 yeah. by 15 yes, <laughs> whatever yeah whatever's available you can put in there and have all lots of different cabinet simulations just thinking thinking thing right now that's a really cool if you sort of a versatile bass player i mean obviously this is kind of geared for the heavier end with its with its sort of, uh, gain structure that it has in here and it's just focused on the overdrive but I think if you're using this as a versatile amp, you know, you can save three different cab, cab sizes, you know, like different kind of tones you want to bass, you know, maybe three different gig scenarios that you're in, different bands and stuff. You know, it's, Absolutely, it's yeah. Cool, isn't it? That's very versatile, and it's, uh, I like that, I like that a lot. Um, yeah, one thing to mention, it comes with um, a foot switch, the intelligent foot switch, and this is very clever. It's pretty intelligent, isn't it? Because uh, it's just a regular guitar cable that it uses, just a regular mono guitar cable, but it's actually dual function, because if um, you just press it once, Oh, it. Oh, it turns on. It turns on the whole sort of Alpha Omega engine, uh, and then. Uh, but if you hold it down, uh, it mutes, and then you can obviously, if you've got your tuner plugged in, you can you tune yeah. it up silently. Yeah. So that that's handy, and it comes with this, right? This yeah. Thing. It does indeed. Okay. Cool. Uh, you've got a passive active switch there to pad the input if your bass is really hot. Yep. Or if you've got a passive bass. You have it set to passive. Yeah, I've, I've put this, this is an active bass we're using today, but I've, I've got it on passive mode just to just so you can hear the EQ from the amp instead of this. Cool, okay. And we have got a very nice uh, six band EQ here. Mm -hmm. Should we have a look, listen to that? Yeah.
So it, uh, it's exactly what you expect from a six-band EQ. You know, it covers all the important frequencies. You can cut and boost yep. uh, loads. Uh, so that's that. Cool. And then we come to the, uh, you've, got the you've got a gain, which is uh, a, a general gain thing. Yep. And then we go over to their sort of Alpha Omega engine. Right, yeah. Should so we have a listen to that? Two, right. So they've got Alpha and Omega, sort of two different types of distortion and overdrive, really. And you can blend between the two quite as well. So That's right. And obviously, alter the amount of drive if you don't yeah. want it too drivey. Let's turn it on. Alpha. Turn the drive off a bit. Okay. Right. Go on then. Do some yeah, playing. Do some stuff. That sounds pretty, pretty <laughs> darn good, boy. Yeah. So uh, I wasn't really paying. I was sort of in that mate. But yeah, well, how that's was it? all right. You were digging comp it. Compression was that? Was that sort of? I was you're fiddling with really... everything there, really. Yeah. So yeah, there's uh, a nice musical compressor there. Uh, you can switch between the alpha and omega sides yeah. of the uh, the sound engine, as it were. Love it. Uh, the drive, obviously, you can have all off or as much of that as you want. And then this uh, the blend between like the there. Uh, you know that Alpha Omega engine and just yes. your regular clean, yeah, yeah, unaffected so, sound. Yep, and you can blend that infinitely in between any one of the two. Love it. So uh, okay. yeah, pretty cool. Sweet. Now, oh, man, yeah, nice. I'm loving the sound. I just, I think I love the dark, dark glass tone. Dark glass tone. Yeah. I can't speak today. Yeah, because we've looked at dark glass, uh, lots of dark glass things before, and that's yeah. really it's got its own unique. Uh, Too right. Tombra. That tone is there. Yeah. Tombra. Love it. Uh, right. Oh yeah. Should we have a look at the back? I think we should have a little look at the back. Okay. Yeah. So we try and do this without. Here. We, we have. Oh yeah. Lovely. Good shout. So two speaker on outputs. Yeah. So Starts if you're off. if you're going to hook it up to speaker cabinets, which uh, a lot of you probably would want to do, yes, we've got two uh, speak on outs there. Uh, you've got two DIs. This is, I've not seen this before. Two separate DIs. One's pre and one's post. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's good because the pre one is before any of that business and yeah, it just yeah. takes your clean bass signal so unaffected. You get more separation from, from that sound and from the, the gain side of it as well. Yeah, because you might want to just record that separately if you're recording and then you can reamp later. it later. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, so that's a nice feature. Love it. Uh, you've got an effect send and return. Yep. With, uh, oh, that's the ohmage switch, is it? Between when you're using the cabs, I think, either two or four ohms. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, uh, that's, that's handy, it. depending on what cab uh, combinations you're using. Yep. What kind of cabs. A ground lift there for the DIs. Aux in um, and a headphone out. So if you just want to use it as a like a practice tool, for instance. Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. You can do that. Just plug your MP3 player and the aux in. Get yep. your headphones on. Nice right. silent practicing, but with all the all the lovely sounds well, in there. We saw that in one of the pedals last as well, didn't we? So it, it's it's a thing that it's obviously a feature. They, they yeah. use that as look. You can use it as your old practice. Absolutely, unit. Just yeah. Carry around with you. Yep. Sit in your bedroom or in the rehearsal in your uh, dressing room or whatever. Yeah. Uh, headphone volume, so you can uh, adjust that oh, separately. Sure. And then you've got your different cab responses. Love them. Um, uh, which is off, and then one, two, three. Which you've heard. Listen to those already. Oh. Uh, there's your you. Excuse me. <laughs> Squeaky chair. There's uh, a lot to do. <laughs> US, USB input here, 
and this is where you can plug it into your computer, like I was talking about. You download yep. the Dark Glass software and uh, access lots of features there. All um, the impulse responses. All the impulse responses and some other things. Uh, and then you've got MIDI. There's a, a MIDI uh, input here. So you could use um, a, a bigger uh, a MIDI a floor controller. Okay, and yeah, then yeah. you can start accessing some more features of the amp. Like you can right. cycle between the different cabinet simulators. Uh, stuff that you can't get on the, the foot switch. That's right. Yeah, 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 this only it. does the two things, the foot switch that it comes yeah. with, which is that... In a uh, very clever way. But and very clever, yes. But if you wanted to access more, more things on the head, you just use any standard MIDI floorboard. Yeah, and then you can expand start. it from there. Yeah. Love it. And uh, that's the foot switch in there. The foot nice. switch that comes with. So how about that? It has an intelligent fan. So that, uh, yeah, if you're not really sort of driving the power amp, it doesn't come on so much, so it's quieter. Oh, that's good, isn't it? They've thought of everything. They have thought of everything. What? They're very clever, these dudes. They are. So, uh, yeah, well done. Yeah, Doug and team. Dark glass. Definitely. They've made a, they've made a lovely thing. And solid as anything as well, I mean, these chassis are built like tanks. Yeah. Yeah, and it looks very pretty, uh, but it's very small and it's very light. I yeah. Mean, it weighs nothing at all. For 900 watts. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's a lot of watts for, for very little weight. Too right. Yeah. Well. And I expect everybody will want to know how much it is. Yes, they will. Do you know how much it is? I don't know. I think it's 1,069. You are, yes. Same price as the, the microtubes, the other, the other 900 at the same time. So, brilliant. Yeah, okay, so just over 1,000. For a pretty much a thousand watts. Mm -hmm. mm. What do you think? I just, I love the sound. I love the sound of it. I, I'm just saying then I don't know if um, for my personal playing, like the amount I use th th this kind of sound, tone for, I might not use this particular amp, but I might get one of the pedals, you know. And okay, so and just so you've got that that sound in your that tonality. armory. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's That's part it's part of the rig. Um, and yeah, it's a different yeah different palette, isn't it? But and say I don't know if I will use it so much to, to go and buy the whole amp to use it for, but. Um, but I love that tone. I mean, just, I'm just in love with it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> Should yeah. we have another jam? I think what we'll do, uh, if we have another play, mm. um, I think I'll, I'll stick some drums on, you can play along with it, yeah. and then I'll just fiddle about with this. Okay, So you All just right. fill yeah. your boots. I've broken the jack, uh, the Ebenez anyway, so... Oh, on. fine. It's, uh, it's ruined. Oh, it's beyond repair. Day. So uh, we'll, we'll play you out with a bit of that. Cool. Um, there it is. This yeah. new offering from Dark Glass. It's a thing of beauty. Tis. Have another listen. Yeah. This has been All About the Bass. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And we'll see you next time. See you soon. Toodle pip. Toodles. <laughs>